Hello everyone, it's Dr. James Markham back again with yet another biblical prescription for life. Today, we're gonna give you seven health tips to make your Walmart shopping healthy. I recently got back from a trip where I was able to minister to some people in New York and we stopped at some Walmarts and I wanted to make that healthy. Um, so I'm gonna share some of the things I learned with you. So the next time you go to Walmart, you can enjoy it. Walmart has almost everything you can think of buying there, almost every type of person, and it's on almost every town on our trip. So it was a very useful resource for us. But before we go down that road about how we can make Walmart shopping healthy, or at least healthier, let's go to a, a text in the Bible. And that's Psalms 46.1. It's a promise, um, something that we can depend on, a biblical prescription. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So let's put that to memory, Psalms 46.1, and play it over and over your head as we talk today and throughout the day and the week. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So let's hold on to that as we talk about ways we can make Walmart shopping healthy. So here is a picture of a Walmart for those that have never been. And there are small Walmarts and there are super Walmarts. So I've, I've grown to appreciate Walmarts, especially on my trip as we were ministering to people, holding some seminars, some clinics. So let's give you seven tips to help you make your Walmart shopping experience healthy. And you can probably extrapolate these um, trips to the store, to other stores besides Walmart. But number one, park far away. That does a couple things for your physiology. You don't have to be stressed about finding a parking lot and you get more steps walking in and out of the Walmart when you park far away. And I've noticed that, you know, one of the largest Walmart parkings, some of the largest ones I saw was in the Northeast. And some of them you could walk a fairly long distance to get to and from the Walmart. And I didn't have to worry about parking. I was parking a, a large vehicle. I didn't have to worry about parking. So that less stress, the walking, that's number one about ways we can make Walmart shopping healthy. Number two, start your shopping in the produce area, the fresh part of the store where they have all the fruits, vegetables, and those things. And memorize this acronym, E-M-P-E-D, MPED. What's that stand for? Enjoy more plants each day. MPED, enjoy more plants each day. So when we start out in the produce section, we fill, we have a tendency to fill up our, our carts with more fresh things that we can eat. More fresh things have more easily absorbable nutrients, phytonutrients, antioxidants, all those special nutraceuticals that you get from the plants. Your body knows how to use them. And not only Will you eat the plants, but while you're there, if you get a chance, visualize them. Um, enjoy the beauty of the plants that are there. Um, smell them if you can, the aroma, touching them when you can. All of these are ways or inputs that we can enhance our health. Remember, God gave us these plants for a reason, not only for our nutrition, but to stay well, prevent disease, but there's also many other benefits we can enjoy from plants. So that's number two, MPED. Enjoy more plants each day. Start your trip in the produce section. Number three, while you're in Walmart, walk down each row. If you walk down each row, you'll get lots of steps in. As you're walking, you can stretch. If you have a cart, you can bend over it. You can sort of move around. And while you're doing that, when you pass someone in the row, smile at them. When you smile at them, they receive something wonderful. And most people, when you smile at them, they'll give you a smile back. 
So that's sort of a good thing to do. So number three, walk down the road slowly, smile at the people you pass. Number four, walk the fastest in the areas with your processed foods. Well, we want to change our tempo. When we go slow and fast, slow and fast, that increases our heart rate. Heart rate variability is a good thing to our cardiovascular physiology. It helps us get waste in and out of the body better, moves oxygen throughout our body. And why do we want to go fast in the process section? Well, if we go fast, we'll have less tendency to buy processed foods. And remember, processed foods aren't as good for us. Lots of chemicals, lots of things that we don't need in our bodies. So we want to buy less of that. You have less time to buy that when you're moving through it very fastly. Number five, almost every Walmart has an outdoor section. When you get to the outdoor section, remember that acronym we moved, we, we started with MPED, enjoy more plants each day. Well, when you get to the outdoor section, you can enjoy looking at the beautiful plants. Perhaps you can smell some of the aromas. You can touch them maybe. This helps you, of course, you can visualize them. You can see beauty. All of these things are things that we can do that help us um, improve our physiology, cut back our stress. In fact, there's some physiology, have you heard the term earthing? That if we just get out in nature, in the earth, just being around the things that grow, that are alive, that helps us. Of course, being outside, we, of course, we get all of the good things that the plants make as far as oxygen, and we get to see the beauty. So that would um, be number five, when you go to the plant section and enjoy the plants, stimulate your other senses, keep them working. If you don't use something, it gets old quicker. You know, you can develop by tasting different things, by smelling different things, by looking at things and touching things, you develop parts of your upper frontal lobes, you develop those parts of your brains with no neurosynapses, those are good, um, growth parts of the brain, we can keep the brain growing and that helps with our cognitive function. Just doing that in the plant section at Walmart. Who would have thought that could slow down aging, slow down development of dementia and age-related brain things? Well, the next one is at the checkout. Um, when you're at the checkout, nowadays, most people, I had to scan most of my things in the checkout. Um, it's not so fun when you see the bill, but, but don't focus on that because we want to make the Walmart a healthy, health-like experience. When you're there, um, say, thank you, God, for giving me all of these good things that I bought. Thank you, God, for just keeping me here today. It's a great chance um, to be thankful. Thankful for the things that have been given to you. Thank, thank you just for having this day and for focusing on your health while you're at, Mar at Walmart. That's something to be thankful for. And lastly, number seven, once you put everything in, you're walking back to your car, you're getting your exercise, you're saying goodbye to your trip at Walmart. Number seven, as you walk out, say a prayer for all of those people that you passed in the Walmart. There wasn't one Walmart store that I didn't see a lot of people. Some of them need our prayers more than other, but take a chance to pray. Pray for God's will that the, the people will, will find a greater experience with Christ that you might be able to witness. You certainly witnessed by making Walmart healthy and smiling at people, but pray for the people that there. So that's seven things that you can do to make your Walmart trip healthy. And if you don't remember any of them, I want you at least think about how can I make Walmart healthy? There are seven ways you can do it. But I also want you to remember Psalms 46 um, verse 1. God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And all of us run into trouble from time to time, but we know where our strength is coming from, ever present. This is a wonderful promise that we can always have. And I want you to put that in your heart. Some other things I want to tell you about. If you're interested in disease reversal, whether that be spike inflammation, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, obesity, inflammation, I will be having a one-week in-person disease reversal week. 
I'm gonna do that in conjunction with Wildwood Health Institute. If you might be interested in that, it will cost a little bit of money because you're gonna live there, eat there, but we'll live there together. We'll spend a week together learning all of these tips. And we're gonna take this from a little bit different perspective. And if you know me, we're gonna focus on Christ is the key to health, and we're gonna build our week around that. But if you're interested, go to our website, heartwiseministries.org, or you can call Wildwood Health Institute for more information. Their number is 706-820-1493. And I also want to remind those that are still interested in things that are related to the pandemic and COVID, go to our other site, on Rumble, same name as this on Rumble, so you can get some good uncensored information about what's going on in this ever prolonged pandemic now into the third years. So as we leave today, remember when you go to Walmart, make it a healthy trip. You can be healthy at Walmart. You have seven tips to do um, while you're there. Share this with your friends and neighbors. Remember, Good health is possible, but our real strength when we're in trouble in health is coming from God. So I'm Dr. James Markham, inviting you to share this with your friends and neighbors. Um, comment about ways, other things that you do while you're shopping to stay healthy. And I'll be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.